Hi, so this here is the mess that I'm in with the toilet closet flange here. So I have one of those that had the metal rings and after 10 years this building is only 10 years old so you see that it completely rusted off. I have the ring here that I pried off so it completely just rusted off and, and you could see you know just the amount of damage. Now there was never an, a water leak in this bathroom so what happened was there is a lot of condensation and the condensation itself over 10 years really rusted off this flange here and you can see how bad it is. So this here is a series of pictures where the metal flange is actually attached to the floor. Now I actually had to pry it off. You can see it's completely disintegrated and rusted to the point where when I put in the closet bolts it doesn't even attach. So the, here are some close-ups. It just rusted through and that happened on both sides with the bolts so I was not able to replace the toilet because of this rusted flange. Now it was originally one of these so you could see how fast these actually do corrode. Uh, which is very surprising. So I will actually never get one of these metal ones ever again. Um, now I, I didn't. I was not the original plumber that put this in, but um, it, apparently it was a professional that actually put this in. So you can see these plastic flanges. People are afraid they're going to break, but in reality, they're they're so sturdy and thick. There, there is just no reason to actually believe that these things will break. These are a quarter inches thick and they're PVC plastic. They're not some, you know, flimsy plastic here. So, uh, so what I was going to do was replace it with one of these. And you're wondering why I'm replacing it with a metal one again is because, um, this, this, this job was done so poorly that the flange itself is actually raised too high off the ground so I already have issues there where you know I can actually um, cut off the flange itself and put in a new one but um, in reality I, I don't really have that time but I don't have the tools properly to do it and I'd have to buy um, basically uh, you know, $150, $200 worth of tools. I don't really have that time right now. So I just want to go through the flanges that I am going to use for the replacement. So I will either split this in half or do a cut because it doesn't actually fit. So, so you could see it doesn't fit through because uh, the circumference is a little bit smaller on the plastic. So what I'm going to do is slice this a bit and so I have a little wiggle room to put it in around that. Um, now I did want to use one of these. Now if I use one of these, what would happen is it would go over one of these flanges. Um, but the screw holes didn't quite line up. And this job was done so poorly, they only put two screws in there. So I, I could actually, you know, put this in and, you know, just use two screw holes and just nail it down so that is an option now the other thing is also one of these where it's already split in half and I could just put it around so what you want to do is you want to get as many options as possible because you could always return these the ones you don't use now I am I'm inclined to just do a hacksaw cut here and just fit this in and then just uh, screw it down and let me just give you a closer look here at just the mess that this is in and let me go ahead and uh, you know do that and uh, show you the results so what I've done here is I use a hacksaw and I cut open in a slit so now I have wiggle room to actually put it around this flange here. Now I know this is literally a hack, but um, you know sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And so with this original flange, I can now fit it over with a little bit wiggle room and uh, let you know what happens. So you notice I actually hacksawed two of these here, 
and then I slipped it in and sometimes once again you got to do what you got to do I got two screws in here and it's uh, actually very tight as you can see you know it's, it's, it's not going to move so you know stability won't be an issue um, and I have the bolts basically positioned the way I want and uh, now I'm gonna just give it a go so if you notice I put some masking tape to keep these bolts uh, stable now some people will put straws here to actually guide and have a better visual as you lower the toilet so you could also put straws here um, to help you with the guide now uh, keep in mind that most of the stability is actually the weight of the toilet itself so these things do secure the toilet to the ground but not as much as you think um, but overall let's uh, let me get going all right so I now have the toilet on this flange and you can see that's the closet bolts with the wing nuts and closet bolts with the wing nuts and it is highly secure, especially when there's weight on it as far as the tank. So uh, that's really it. Uh, you know, I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you for watching.